Welcome back to the channel, Make Money Trucking. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm uh, filming this video in the truck today. I got you guys up on the windshield. So I want to talk about a funny thing, not so funny, and that is about being a boss or an owner of a trucking company or really just any, any boss or supervisor in general who has employees or is uh, overseeing any other type of people besides themselves. And that is being the nice boss equals being the broke boss. So I learned this first-handedly uh, the hard way with one of my first businesses that I actually employed uh, people, drivers, to work for me. Uh, starting off, you want to get along with your employees. You want to be nice to them. And I'm not saying to be a jerk or to be an a-hole or whatever, but I am saying that um, there's a fine line. And uh, as a younger guy that I was, I definitely tried to be nice, um, too nice. And it ended up really, you know, biting me pretty bad because what happens is when you be the nice boss you can be nice but when I say like the nice boss I mean you know try to be buddy buddy you try to make your employees like you there's a fine line so what happens is when you're overly nice and you don't set down some very strict ground rules and guidelines employees just start taking advantage of that um, and then you being nice you kind of give them the benefit of the doubt and then next thing you know it's they become a repeat offender where it's happening day after day you know shift after shift to the point where now you kind of have set that tone that you're gonna be the nice guy and so they'll just take advantage of it. So that's what you gotta watch out for. And it cost me a lot of money. Um, you know, I ended up losing, or I ended up shutting down that business temporarily, and I had to dissolve it. And that cost me a lot of money. And partially it was, uh, we had problems with the contractor, but it was, a big part of it was my fault because I was trying to be too nice. Um, and literally, employees, drivers, people that work for you or around you will take advantage of you if you do that. And uh, that's exactly what happened to me. Um, you know, every time a, you know, if someone was late or someone did something wrong, I wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt. Because, you know, I've heard a lot of people say this, I see the best in people. And I'm not saying you've got to be, you know, strict and, you know, be a robot and, you know, just, no, you do this job in a story. You can get along with your employees, but, you know, definitely just don't be too nice um, and don't let them walk all over you because once you open that doorway, they will literally take advantage of you. I even had, uh, I had one driver that uh, I hired and uh, he did an okay job for me. He was late a couple times and uh, you know, it's, it's kind of like once you start opening this door, it's impossible to close it and it just gets worse and worse and worse and it never gets better. Um, and the, the employee almost becomes codependent on you. So the guy was late to work um, and I was a nice guy, you know. It was like one of my first trucking companies, one of my first employees. You know, I was so worried that if I was like really strict that I'd lose the employee and then, you know, I wouldn't have anybody drive for me, but you've just got to be, you can't be too nice. So he's late and then he says, hey, can I get a paycheck advance? I'm late on my rent. I said, well, sure, you know. So out of my money, I give that to him. And then next thing you know, um, he comes back to me and he, he did pay me back. 
uh, you know, he got that and he's like, hey, uh, can I get that again? And, you know, I said, okay, that's fine. And then we, he got all caught back up and then it's like the next month, the same things happen over and over. And uh, then he starts messing with our contractor or the trucking, you know, because when you own a trucking business, you always contract through a bigger, you lease onto a bigger trucking company, so they have their own supervisors and people. So what would happen is uh, he would start, you know, calling off work and not telling me about it. And yeah, so basically that's where you start to see the taking advantage of part. And then when it come down to me having to let him go, it was just a very bad situation um, because they're used to you being the nice guy and letting him get away with this and that for whatever reasons you did it, you know. And then when you finally put your foot down, it like triggers a grenade and it, it you know, a bomb goes off and they freak out and the situation is escalated like 10 times worse than it would have been if you never opened that doorway. So yeah, uh, that's kind of something I wanted to talk about, you know, being the nice guy uh, makes you the broke guy, <laughs> or being the nice boss makes you the broke boss. And you don't have to be an a-hole or a jerk, you know, you can get along with your employees, but you definitely got to keep that fine line. You can't be too nice because I have to say, if I had 10 employees during this time, I had probably, I went through about 10 or 20 different drivers. I'd say for every 10 drivers that I had or dealt with, maybe one of them didn't try to take advantage of the fact that I was nice. Uh, but since I've learned my lesson, and for all you guys out here that are looking to expand, and you're looking to, um, you know, finally get to the point where you're gonna hire on drivers, just, just, uh, be aware of that. Um, don't be too nice. Set some ground rules. Have some boundaries, and don't be afraid, you know, to let a guy go or to maybe, you know, uh, take disciplinary action upon somebody when like they're late or whatnot. You gotta kind of put your foot down because, like I said, um, you'll get labeled the nice guy, and then next thing you know, uh, you're gonna take advantage of it. It's just gonna cost you money and them taking advantage of you is gonna lose you your contract, your trust with your contractor or whoever you're uh, working for. So I hope this helps you guys out uh, when you guys are thinking about taking that next step and hiring employees. And it, it's, it's hard, it's, it really is hard because if uh, any of you out there are just like me, you know, you, you enjoy being nice and getting along with people. So it's really hard um, to have to be the bad guy, but essentially you gotta do it or you'll get taken advantage of. So I hope this uh, helps you you guys out out there and uh, when you're taking those next steps and uh, not making the same mistakes that I did. Um, I learned my lesson by now, but uh, and subscribe and uh, comment down below if you guys have uh, had any of these uh, situations happen to you like I did me and I will see you on the next one.